guys, it's Ramina Math Person. Today we're going over question 222 on SOA exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you're attended it, let's just dive right in. So they give you the moment generating function as this right here. And we're trying to look at the standard deviation. Well, as always, we know our standard deviation is just the square root of variance. And we know that our variance formula goes like this. It is the second moment minus the first moment squared. Right? And what's cool about moment generating function, I feel like the main purpose of mom moment generating function is to find standard deviations. <laughs> so basically, what's cool about moment generating function is the expectation of x is actually the f first derivative of mo moment generating function evaluated at zero. So knowing that, let's first find the derivative of moment generating function. So you get 0.45 et plus so this would be 2 times 0.35 e to the 2t plus 0.15 times 3 e to the 3t plus 4 times 0.05 e to the 4t. When you evaluate at 0, this is just every e to the t just goes to 0, so it just goes to 1. So this is 0.45 plus 0.7 plus 0.45 plus 0.2, which is equal to 1.8. Alright, let's find the second moment. This is equal to, first term stays the same, the second term becomes 2 times 2 squared, 0.35, e to the 2t, plus 0.15, 3 squared, e to the 3t, plus 4 squared, 0.05, e to the 4t. Evaluated at 0, this becomes 0.45 plus 1.4 plus 1.35 plus 0.8, which is equal to 4. So our variance is 4 minus 1.8 squared, which is equal to 0.76. So this is our variance. and But we're looking for standard deviation, which is just square root of 0.76, which is equal to 0.87177 repeating, which is approximately... 0.87 which is our answer B as always if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and make sure you like subscribe and share bye